Hello Capricorn, my name is Gabrielle De La Garza, aka The New York Doctress, and welcome to my channel, welcome to your appointment. Please go ahead, subscribe, like this video, it really helps me out, and if you're interested in donating to myself or the channel, the link is in the description box below. So, Capricorn, wow, um, where do we start? I feel like, I feel, all right. <clears throat> So this isn't going to be for everyone, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, disclaimer, if you don't like cursing, if you are here to hear like, oh, you're going to be back together and your boyfriend's coming back, like, this is not the channel for you. Um, just going out there. Okay. Saying that. Whatever. I, so someone out here is separating from this King of Swords. It's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or this happened already in the path, past, excuse me, path. Wow. But I feel like that was, like, you're on the right path now. I feel like that was the wrong path. Like, it's in my left hand. So, this person could have been left-handed. Um, I'm definitely getting, though, like, a separation. Maybe this is a legal separation or, like, you actually separated from this person. But, like, separation is the word of the day, I want to say. So, I feel like you guys are going to split it 50-50. I, now, I wanted to say flip it. So I feel like this person also too could have been trying to like flip things around on you. Like say like, oh, you're the one that wanted to split or like you're the one that wanted to break up. But like really it was this person and then like, or maybe this person wanted to break up and you didn't want it. But then like once you were like, all right, well, this is what's happening. You were like fine with it and you were happy and then maybe they wanted to come back and you were like, I'm not playing this fucking game. Now they're blaming you, you know, which is just like, again, that's like gaslighting. So, so if you find yourself in like this like circle, which honestly Capricorn, I'm not getting that you are like, I feel like as much as it's emotionally or was an emotional burden for you like I really feel like you were like I feel like this was really like heavy like I had some heavy anxiety going into this reading I was like wow like this is crazy like I was not expecting to feel this way but at the same time it's a very powerful feeling because I feel like although this feeling is here um you are all like able to overpower it or overcome it um or work around it too so you could be working around something working around whatever's happening in your life like I feel like you're able to navigate very well right now um articulate yourself very well I just I don't see um like I feel like if someone was trying to get in your way it's it's like you're just you're dodging things I, do you hear that the car alarm going off yeah So if that's not an omen for you, I don't know what the hell is, okay? Whew. That was... So, all right. So this could be for like a week. All right. So I... All right. We are in the... Uh, did I say this is a late night reading? This is an Ellen reading. This reading is good for whenever you come across it. And we do talk a lot about like more spiritual or like esoteric maybe kind of creepy scary spooky um just like real shit that people are too yeah yo okay so capricorn if you don't like this kind of shit like i suggest you click off now otherwise i'm gonna be so honest with you so i feel like you have a spirit around you um this could be a family member or not it could just be someone who's like maybe lived in your house but i feel like this person it's not a bad ghost it's not a bad spirit this is like my besides like it being like a stalker kind of card this is like my ghost card this boy comes up all the time and like i just i i can i can feel it in your energy i can feel you can feel when they're around you it's very heavy they could smell like a <sighs> It's a very faint, like, smoked smell. But this per it's not cigarettes. It's not cigarettes at all. It's just, like, a smoked smell. Or, like... But, okay. So, I had to get that out. <laughs> had to get that out. Definitely something around you. I feel like your gifts are definitely, like, growing or enhancing themselves in that manner. I feel like we could have talked about this not too long ago. I feel like they're getting even better. Like, maybe last time um, you could have been seeing, like, all right, so I'll give you, like, yeah, this person's around you heavy. It's They're kind of, they could be even, like, sort of, like, why do I want to say distracting? 
Yo. This reading's crazy. You do hear that, right? The fucking alarm's going off again. Okay. So this person is like, could be like distracting you. Like, I feel like you kind of, I'm going to be honest. Like you almost have to, sorry, but like to whoever this is, but like you have to like put it in its place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you have to be firm. You have to be like, listen, I'm in the middle of doing something. You can't bother me. Cause like that, like when you're in the middle of transitioning, especially when you're going from like 3d to 4d, 4d to 5d, um, or your energy level levels are changing, especially in those early stages of your awakening, you, uh, you're susceptible. Like, they, like they know it, they can feel it. They're not bad. They're not bad, but they, they, they're like, you know, they have like fun with you. They fuck with you. They fuck with you. I've been saying this forever. My guides fuck with me all the time. Like now I like understand them better, but like you could like, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like you're, I want to say like you're actually, you could might even like see this person standing in front of you. Like as like, I don't know. I don't want to spook you the fuck out, but like, this is literally what I'm getting. Okay. Like I, I'm, I'm just like, I just don't, you have to be like, leave me alone. Like, I don't want to do this right now. Um, and just be like, I feel like, like dead ass, I feel like source wants you to like, make sure that you're powerful enough to like, take on these sort of like, I, I don't want to say it's not a bad thing when I, when I say this. So hopefully you understand. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, but so like, they're kind of like demons, but they're not. They're like, if it was like a good and a bad, like it's like a good thing. It, they, they're not harmful. They're just like, uh, they're just like tests. They're almost like test puppets, but they're real at the same time. Also not real. Um, hopefully Capricorn, this makes sense to you. But, but yeah, you just got to fucking put it in its place. That's all. And, and this could like, now that I'm thinking more about it too, or like getting more information, like this could be just like things in your life as well. Like, I feel like too, you have to like put people in their place. Like, I feel like someone could just be like, I don't know, just like bothering you. I don't know how we've been talking about this for like seven minutes now. I, it just, it, it seems like a long time or like, I don't know, so maybe something has been taking a really long time. So, okay. Moving on. Ten of Swords, yeah, but I feel like you, okay, so, like, maybe after this reading, you feel better, like, you do what you gotta do, you know, you're like, okay, we're cool now, like, you make amends with someone, um, I'm also getting, I feel like you turn on all your lights, <laughs> you know, like, fuck is this, <laughs> yeah, those early stages, so you could, that's what I wanted to say, too, is, like, so, you could see, like, um, what it is, it's, like, it's almost like, uh, you ever see like the fuzzy like uh on the tv like i don't know if you know what i'm talking about like if there's no channel there it's just this is like whatever <laughs> not like some poltergeist shit but you know what i'm saying um that's almost like what you see in the sky like it's kind of like but inside like like right now like that's how you know like you're transitioning into like these new phases these new stages um this is definitely only going to resonate with probably like the higher level people who like know what the fuck is good or are going through this so like if this message does not resonate like definitely check back next week but um but for those of you who do who this do resonate yeah look there it is there it is there's the snow it's like it's like snowflakes or like I don't know. I can't explain it. Like not in pulp, but like little dots. It's like little dots everywhere. You'll see it. If you just like look around, you'll like you see it. I know you're probably like, oh my God, it's a girl seeing shit. But no, it's not like that. You'll know. If you're fucking spiritual enough, bitch, you'll know. You'll fucking know. Okay. I feel like this goes for guys, girls. Like, oh my God. Yeah, this is a very spirit <laughs> spiritual reading. Whew. So, all right. Let's see what's going on. So I do see. I don't know if this is like a romantic interest or not. Yeah. Okay. So you're confused about someone like, I feel like they have you like up in a whirlwind. Uh, like, I feel like you don't know if you're dating, if you're not dating, maybe you like kind of go like on and off with this person, but like, they never say you're my girlfriend, but like this person could even say like, Oh, this is my girl or like, Oh, this is my boyfriend. Like, or this is my, I guess if it's just a guy, I think this is my girl. Cause I don't feel like girls really do that. You wouldn't say this is my man unless this is like, you know, he's your man. So like, be sh like mindful of that. Maybe someone wants to date, get serious. And like, you're just like, maybe they're moving too quickly or be mindful of that. Be mindful of like, I just heard moving in with somebody. Be mindful of moving in. 
I keep get yo, I keep getting this message. Somebody's like moving in with someone. Like I maybe I have to say it in every video because I feel like I've said that I know for damn sure it was in Leo. I know for damn sure. And then there was another one, and now I feel like this is the third time. So so I feel like so maybe you're trying to reach out to different people to get a certain message because what's crazy is I still feel like the right person hasn't gotten the message. So like I feel like something's not reaching someone or like maybe it's like something that you're trying to tell someone's like just like not getting through. You're like, oh my God, like, like how do I get through to this person? Or I don't know, like maybe they changed their number three times. Like I, I have no idea. And like I feel like this is how you feel. Maybe they're like, I don't know what to do. Like I don't know how to get in touch with them. I don't know, maybe their like social medias are all gone. You don't have their phone. I mean, shit, we don't yell. I don't know why I want to go back to like the 90s. Why do I want to say that? Sorry, I'm going to take a sip. Hold on. Because like I'm getting like, I'm thinking back to when TVs like, like where you still had those, that fuzziness or like now I'm seeing like cord phones, yellow pages, like I'm also wearing yellow, so yellow could be significant color to you for whatever reason. I, I just, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of yellow here. Yellow light, my hair is like kind of yellow, the shirt's yellow. I don't really know what this is, but super random. <laughs> okay. I don't know how we just got on that topic, but <laughs> forgive me because I don't know what the fuck. All right, so Capricorn, I feel like things get like super crazy. So like maybe this is just for a couple nights. Like this could just be like for the weekend, I feel. Um, I do, I do. I feel like this is gonna last like two or three nights. You're gonna like love it though. Like enjoy it. Like don't be afraid of it. Um, don't be afraid of like, I just, I just feel like, or maybe you're just like not, yeah, I feel like you're not afraid anymore. Like maybe at first you're like, oh my God. And now you're like, okay, this is cool. Um, I see you could be like figure skating, maybe you do this in the winter, go, yeah, no, I'm seeing skate, like ice skating specifically. So someone could be wanting a lot of money out of you, Capricorn, or like maybe this girl, maybe this is your ex, this could be an ex-girlfriend, maybe she's pregnant right now, maybe she just got pregnant, just found out, you're like, fuck, I'm gonna have to give all my money to this girl, like, she's gonna want every, yeah, she just, she, I feel like, I don't know, this person could have got, literally gotten pregnant just to get money, like, I, I feel like this person, like, was trying, or, like, it's not gonna work, like, maybe this person's plan isn't gonna work, this, this person could even potentially lose, the baby um i'm even hearing like maybe because i don't know i feel like something was out of like um i don't know like what is it malintent or something like i i just i feel like this person literally just wanted all of your money but like i feel like the spirit was came in and was like no 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 like you're not gonna have be having babies all up in this bitch uh just to get a little bit of coin like that's not how this works so yeah because here's the king of coins and the eight of coins and the three of swords wow so maybe you don't know who okay so i don't know pick your side any side i don't know like but this is the story that i am hearing so i feel like someone doesn't know who the father is because i do have the king of cups here as well as the king of coins and i feel like maybe one of these men does not have um the same amount of money or make the same amount of money like maybe one has a really great job other doesn't and i feel like you don't or whoever doesn't know who's like the father is and i feel like the person with the money is like if this is not my child obviously i'm not taking care of it i'm dumping you i'm leaving you and we're not like i feel like you could be married or this person could be married to you i don't know hopefully this is not you i don't know what's going on but this is what's going on <laughs> okay and I feel like this person's like, I'm literally going to leave you if I find out that this child is not mine, if you have this baby, or to terminate the child and then, like, maybe work on your marriage. And, like, because I feel like this per but I feel like, I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is a lot that's going on here. So, obviously, this is very specific. Um, if this doesn't resonate again, or if it does, hopefully, you know, you'll get something from this. But I I'm getting to, like, I feel like that's a pretty bug, a pretty big decision pretty big decision i keep wanting to say bugging i don't even know okay i feel like that's true like someone is bugging out right now i don't know like maybe someone's so worried maybe this person who doesn't really have a lot of money is like oh my god like i don't know i just feel like there's a lot of people who want this baby a lot of people who don't uh, i feel like this, if this is you like you don't know what to do 
if you're a male in the situation, I feel like too, like I said, this girl could like just be trying to get like pregnant by you for your like child support or for your money. So be mindful of that if you do make cash and you're with someone like and I, I just I don't know. You're, you'll know. You'll know because I feel like too, this girl also has someone else. I'm going to leave it there like well for that situation just because yeah because it's very confusing like I feel like who's ever like love triangle this is but there is definitely somebody who's having a baby here for sure um I feel like in some people's situation they lose it in other situation they do not um as far as whose child it is I don't know I I feel like this person should everyone should just be single <laughs> like fuck I feel like literally in the situations like this like you can't you can't be like, oh, we're going to stay together for this. Or you can't terminate a, a pregnancy because someone wants you to. And, like, I, you just can't. It's just I feel like this is meant to be because everyone should literally needs to be by themselves. This baby was obviously meant to be born. Like, that's, like, what I'm hearing. And I feel like this is the way it is. Because I feel like the mom, whoever the woman is in this situation, I feel like like they were meant to have this baby. I, I Like, I'm literally hearing that. I'm, I feel like this person was meant to have this child. But I don't feel like they were meant to stay with these people at all, period. Point blank. So, all right, moving on. Oof, that was hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Damn. So I'm seeing someone, if you're like going out, partying, drinking, having a good time, maybe this is someone's birthday party that you're attending. Um, you could just, again, sleep with someone for the night. I feel like, yeah, you could like maybe have sex like four or five times in this one night. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like you could go back. They like invite you back to their place or you invite them back to yours. I'm seeing two single people here, but it's like nothing. I, I'm not seeing anything crazy, but I am seeing like a really good time. So I feel like if you haven't, if you're single, if like none of this drama is pertaining to you, I do see you going home with someone. Yeah, I, I feel like this person like really is like, like pleasure. I feel like they're very soft. They're very kind. They're very sweet. Um, I think they show you a good time and, and I feel like it's a very nice, I don't know why I'm hearing like nice experience. It's like, it's like, it's very, it might not be what you typically are used to or want, or maybe it is, I don't know, with her coming back in again, but I feel like, or maybe you think it's like something about this, like maybe this person on the exterior is like very put together, but then when they get into the bedroom, like they're very saucy, very like, but it feels very class. I don't know. It's like, why am I getting like classy sex? Yeah, I feel like it sucks when you have to leave this person. I feel like you could live in different states. They could just be visiting um, in town. I don't know, for the weekend. Why I, I keep getting that for the weekend. It's for the weekend. Something's for the weekend. Mm, someone's waiting on a Scorpio um i feel like that's got yeah you got to move on so someone here has to move on from a scorpio is moving on from a scorpio um or if that's not the case and you're with a scorpio like it's going to be over very very soon i feel like spirit's going to step in they want you to take this leap of faith um i do see you maybe like waiting to move out maybe you're like waiting to like i don't know maybe you're looking for a new place you're trying to find like the like the right place you're looking for a new job trying to find the right job like i feel like you're waiting on something i feel like you can't you, there is no more like time to wait there's no more time to waste um i'm hearing it's time to like take that leap of faith right now like there's you, you got to go right now you have to go right now right now ace of coins yeah it's all gonna be all right um you could like you sort of know this already capricorn i feel like you know it's time to move or you know it's time to leave or you know it's time to take this leap of faith into something completely different like so like if you were a chef before like you're not gonna be a chef anymore if you were working in a business like you're not gonna be in that business anymore like you have a whole other route a whole other venture that you have to take on in order to complete like whatever mission it is that you're meant for on planet earth um yeah this is this is pretty intense i feel like it's it's time to go the time is like literally like right now i feel like you're waiting there's nothing to wait on anymore <laughs> this is so opposite from pisces like no like it's time time's up oof the judgment card wow again double like yeah i feel like you're nervous you are nervous but that's okay i was getting that everything's gonna be just fine yeah seven of cups again don't worry about what's what's on the other side it's you want what you want everything that's on the other side how do you know you just have to know you just have to know you have to know and you have to know that it's better than probably whatever it is. every day you're going to get something better something more something new something valuable this is like 
in the physical and the spiritual. Like, watch how fast you grow in the next two years, Capricorn. Watch how fast you grow. Watch how quickly you become something you never even thought was imaginable. This could be the, I don't know, I just heard financial district as well. <gasps> Baby, come on, man. It doesn't get any better than this. Come on. Ace of coins, what, what, what? Thank you. I'm going to bow out right here. Love you so much. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Capricorn.